The Book of Giants is this mysterious, ancient scroll that was literally found in a cave. It's this story about the Nephilim finding out they will soon be destroyed by a massive flood. Now, this book is completely fragmented. So, I used a combination of artificial intelligence and my own research to compile an animated story from these 2,000-year-old scrolls. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the modern Book of Giants. The whole world was filled with their magic, which they taught to mankind. Men had turned to unashamed violence making swords out of metals which bred nothing but bloodshed. And women had turned to sorcery and laying with the angels, which birthed an entire race of giants, the Nephilim. You see, the fallen angels exploited the fruitfulness of the earth. They experimented with all kinds of fruits and trees, consuming almost everything. After all, they needed to feed their own sons the great giants. You see, these beings were never satisfied. They were always hungry, and we actually tried to keep feeding them, but our food was simply running out. Humanity was already suffering greatly, until one day, this rumor had started to spread. Apparently, the angels were taking advantage of various creatures by performing all sorts of unnatural acts upon beast, animal, and then humanity itself. And they did it by force. You see, it was 200 angels who came down in the days of Jared. And eventually, these angels started to capture humans along with 200 beasts from every animal and from every bird, for crossbreeding. They were experimenting on us. They were mixing and matching these different creatures to create something new. So they defiled humans and animals and gave birth to these strange new creatures who were alive and aware, but they lacked true knowledge. They... they weren't like us. See, eventually they introduced these new animals, some of which towered into the sky just like the giants, but they were unhinged monsters and relentless. They craved for flesh and blood, and they'd lose their minds for it. And as these beings multiplied, so did the bloodshed here on Earth. The monsters and the giants devoured humans, literally tearing us apart, limb from limb, and drinking our blood. As monsters and giants reproduced with angels and humanity, the Earth descended into deeper and deeper corruption. The fallen angels had defiled all creation and tainted the Earth with their vile fingerprints. So, humanity called out to the Creator, and he responded with a promise, a prophecy for the coming of a great flood. You see, there really isn't anything that scares a giant. But one day, Mawe started to have these nightmares that seemed to foretell a grim future. A future where all life would be destroyed, except for one man and his sons. You see, at this point, Mawe was not the only giant having these types of dreams. So, after waking up, he goes to the assembly of giants and monsters to discuss what he saw. It was clear. The group quickly determined this dream to be a vision of impending doom, a cause for cursing and sorrow. So Mawe replies, Out of all the Nephilim here, I am the one who will be blamed the most out of this whole group. I will have to go and hear the spirits of those who I've killed, complaining 
and crying out that we'll all be destroyed. What will happen to us when we die? Suddenly, this old giant named Oya steps forth. He seemed quite unaware of what was going on. So with a confident voice, he says, What are you talking about? Who showed you this vision, my brother? I dreamed it, but it was more than just a dream. It felt like a prophecy. Silence fell upon the assembly. And the giants start weeping. Then Oya said to the group, This doom is surely not for us. This judgment has to be for the fallen angel Azazel. After all, he's the one who taught humans all of this corruption. And plus, surely our father angels won't just let us all be neglected. There's no way. We are not to be cast down. We giants and monsters, we have strength. And we can resist if we have to. Shut up. Oh, yeah. just, just. But silently, they all knew that fighting was useless. Then this giant named Gilgamesh steps forward. He was a wealthy and confident giant king here on the earth. But with a downcasted look, King Gilgamesh starts stuttering with fear. He said, I, I am a giant. And with my ridiculous strength, I, I can, I can conquer any mortal man. I have made war with the humans in the past, yes, and I've crushed them. But brother, I cannot win against heaven. We could never win against the angels. They are way stronger than all of us. All the monsters and giants were steadily growing more and more afraid. So Oya responds, Let's find Enoch, the scribe, the righteous man, so he can interpret these dreams for us. So Maue went to go and find Enoch. Enoch, we really wish to know the meaning of these dreams we're having. We think it's a vision about our destruction. But if these dreams really mean the end of us, then at least tell us how much longer we have. So Enoch presents Mawe this mysterious tablet. Written on it was this prophecy about a coming judgment. It's a message for your fathers, the angels, for the monsters, and for you. Enoch begins to read the tablet out loud. It said, In the name of the great and holy God, this message is sent to Semyaza and all his companions. The land is crying out, complaining about you and the deeds of your children. Behold. Destruction is coming by a great flood. You will all be severely judged, which will destroy all living things. Then Enoch looked up to the giant and said, The meaning of your dreams, Mawe, is judgment. You shall be punished for all the evil you have committed here on the earth. But if you repent and pray for forgiveness, maybe, just maybe, you may be saved.